Hey everyone, Mike back with you guys again to talk about the Guarda Costa. The Guarda Costa, which means Coast Guard, are Spanish privateers commissioned to enforce trade and to hunt down pirates of other nations that are harassing Spanish coasts and shipping. Although in reality, they often ended up as out and out pirates themselves and attacking any ship that they could encounter. The Guarda Costa starter box includes eight models of milicianos, 12 marineros, four lanceros, and a commander. The marineros are the core of the Guarda Costa faction. Marineros are Spanish sailors who are trained and armed with pistols. They have a good, solid fight value and do well in a boarding action, which was the preferred tactic of the Guarda Costas. They also have the Ruthless Special Rule, which most Spanish units have, which allow them to get a bonus to their attacks if the opposing unit has more fatigue than they do. They also have the Sailor Special Rule, which allows them to ship actions more efficiently than your average unit. And like many Spanish units, they're poorly equipped. Poorly equipped units suffer from either poor weapons or powder quality, and this, this means that on certain cards, they will get extra reload actions when taking firing actions. Up next we have the Milicianos. The Milicianos are armed with matchlock muskets and are generally inexperienced, although in this Guarda Costa list you have the option to upgrade them to trained. They are an affordable unit and they have the ruthless and the poorly equipped special rule and have pretty average stats across the board. They also have the drilled special rule which allows them to reload their weapons more efficiently when operating on land. While on C, they may trade that rule in this force for the sharpshooter's rule, which allows them to reroll ones when taking shooting actions. The Guarda Costas also have some limited access to lanceros. Lanceros help to improve the boarding actions of the Guarda Costas with some ferocious melee attacks. Like all factions, Guarda Costas have three options for, for generic commanders. You can get a free inexperienced commander or upgrade to a trained or veteran commander for some more tactical flexibility. Some of the commanders included with the Guarda Costa include characters like Don Francisco, who is an expert at ambushing with ships. And of course, we have the famous Manuel Rivero de Pardal, who is known for his challenge against Henry Morgan, who, which never materialized, unfortunately. But we allow for players con using Manuel de Rivero de Pardal to issue challenges to opposing commanders on the table in order to try to eliminate the opponent's commanders. Like most heroes, Padal has improved, has additional command points and fortune points. And that covers the Guarda Costa. I hope that's helpful to everyone. And I want to say thank you to all of our backers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.